This commentary is brought to you by the new YouTube app for the Xbox 360. Go ahead and click on the annotation once you're done with this video to check out Freddie Wong's breakdown of the app. This new app is available now on the Xbox 360 dashboard. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 3 live sniping gameplay commentary. I forgot because it's live. You can see that. The controller is on. If I'm faking this, I'm going through a lot of trouble. Gotta love panic knives. Yeah, but I hit panic nose coast from time to time, so I guess I really can't complain that much. Oh, I heard you. I heard your little laptop. Heard it. Come to Papa. Uh, I don't really have a... Oh, no, I do have something in mind, because I was uh, playing free-for-all earlier, and... and you know, I was just thinking about the uh, the live shotgunning commentary uh, that I did. And... Oh, shit. Of course, you can't let me... You can't let me... You just can't let me have nice things, can you? You can't let me have a comeback. Can't let me have that guy that just missed me. Oh, yeah, nerf the Type 95, didn't you? Nerf the fuck out of that. Spaceless 3. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, something that came to my mind uh, a while ago. And that is the blame that we that we put on the developers uh, for you know a game being bad or, or unplayable or the, the bad things pretty much that happen in games. And it occurred to me recently that while we can blame the developers... Uh, for bad spawns like that, because I shouldn't have been spawning right in front of the guy that killed me. Um, while we can blame them for things like that and, you know, game-breaking technical issues, you know, things like camping, that guy lagged out, sucks for him. You have to blame the community. You can't, you can't put all of the blame on the, on the developers. I mean, yes, they do put... Yes, they do put things in the game that uh, that may in, in, encourage camping to some extent, but really the blame lies in the community for a majority of these problems. Now, I, I don't necessarily mean the YouTube community, though I do think YouTube has a uh, an input on that, but... The community as a whole is what ruins games, is what is what makes a gun not only overpowered, but abused to no end. Uh, and oh, that guy has effing juggernaut, that's ridiculous. And, you know, that's what, that's what makes camping abhorrent in games. Yeah, there, I mean, camping is, is mostly a subjective measure, but, you know, camping... All out, all out camping is is a, is really almost an epi epidemic, and oh god, oh god, oh god. You know the community is to blame for it. it doesn't not necessarily little kids, just but just people ob obsessed with their score or KD, and, and that's where I think uh, the YouTube community uh, comes into that. You know, I see my whole rant on uh, on KD and and you know what's YouTube worthy, and that's why. I, I tend to shun what what is YouTube worthy because I think it perpetuates the idea that you know you have to have a good KD. Not only do I not like KD, but I think the obsessive obsession with KD is a, plays a large role in what leads to camping. Okay, so that guy is probably in the church. Yep. Get wrecked. What gun did you have? Scar L sitting in a corner. Cool, bro. So, yes, we can blame, you know, Activision, Infinity Ward, or whatever for, you know, Final Stand or uh, portable radar and assassin and stuff. And we can say it's, you know, it's overpowered, it does too much. But really, the, the community is what uses it. The community, the players are, are the people 
that put on the perk or, or pick the gun and sit in a corner and be whatever their motivations because they're not good enough to run around whether they just don't want to try uh, whether they don't want to try to learn the map if they don't know it if they're just obsessed with their kd or whatever for whatever reason the community ruins the game the it's like this the developers set the stage the developers set the ground rules by which the community ruins the game. That's really the only way I can say it. The developers set the ground rules by which the community ruins a game. Now, that's assuming that it, that it is to be ruined. I mean, obviously, the, the, you know, it's not like the community gets their hand on a game and immediately it's, you know, it's broken uh, to all hell. But just, God, what is one of my 1711s? That's a bit. Especially because I'm talking about something. But it's... I don't know what to do about it though. Like that, that guy. What was it? What was he doing? What are you doing back there? Get get out of the damn corner. And it's oh, who who? Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh god! Oh god! That guy. Come on! Come on! You know you want to. Damn it! I could actually come back and win this via time limit if I put my tryhard panties on. We got the juggernaut guy though running around. It's, but really, you know, I, I don't know what to do about it. It's one of those things where you make a realization. And you're like, what do I do about that? You know, you, you, you can make the realization that the sun rises and sets every day. But, well, unless you live way up north or way down south. But what do you do about it? Okay, the community ruins the game. What do we do about the community? Is there anything we can change about the community uh, to, to eliminate these problems and to I, not... I mean, not eliminate camping, but to, to just make people aware that they are the ones that ruin it. Yes, the guns may be overpowered in, in, in strict mathematical balance with everything else, but they are the ones that choose the guns and abuse them and sit in the corner. And I, Okay, they do it, but what do we do about that? I don't know. Maybe I can make a living off that, just making observations that people just be like, yeah, well, we understand that, but what are you going to do about it? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys that's my time i gotta get out of here thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy i did a video yesterday uh where i detailed the custom multiplayer game modes that are going to be brought to modern warfare 3 i encourage all of you to go check it out a link is in the description open up the description right now click on that link go watch that video it's, it's really cool stuff uh, and i think the beginning possibly of a of a step in a, in a new and completely completely new direction uh, for Call of Duty, Activision, Infinity Ward, and just really the Modern Warfare series and the Call of Duty series as a whole. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining. I'm out.